It is meant to be Sydney's biggest party, but we are hours away from the New Year countdown and there are no crowds lining the harbour foreshore, just fences and police. Tough COVID restrictions means we'll be celebrating very differently this year. But organisers are promising the farewell to 2020 won't be a fizzer. A ring of steel around the best vantage spots on the harbour's biggest night, a New Year's Eve ghost town. This is how the city celebrates during the time of COVID. The last thing we want is to welcome in 2021 uh, with a super spreading event. Harbourside parks are deserted, the majority closed to crowds. Normally by this time we'd have people camped everywhere. Generally come down here, watch the fireworks every year, but uh, this year we'll be watching it on TV. A handful of hopefuls set up camp in Woolwich before it shut to all but locals. The Devagi family comes from Greystains every year. It's never looked like this. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's because while within the rules, it's still against what authorities are urging people to do. Restrict your movements around Sydney. Unless you have a venue booking. At Cafe Sydney, they're preparing to host a socially distanced crowd. At $800 a head, the handful of tickets still left was snapped up today. We're going to celebrate, we're going to celebrate hard in a COVID safe environment uh, and just get rid of this year. Police are warning anyone caught in the restricted zone without a permit may be kicked out and fined. We'll be checking licensed premises, we'll be uh, door knocking where necessary, we'll be out and patrolling public areas to ensure that people abide by the current health orders. 11,000 permits have been handed out to residents, workers, hotel guests and restaurant customers. But the warning, getting into the city won't be easy. There's no direct public transport to Circular Quay, stopping instead at Martin Place, Town Hall, Wynyard and Barangaroo. A number of main roads have already closed, others will shut at 7. From 10, access roads around Wynyard will be blocked off. An hour later, the Harbour Bridge, Carl Expressway overpass and city-bound lanes on the Anzac Bridge will close. Because while there won't be crowds, there will still be a show. 25,000 fireworks over seven minutes. The Sydney Opera House has got double what we normally would put on it. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is about the same as what we would normally put on, but obviously everything's been fired within seven minutes. So it's, uh, it's a much more intense fireworks display. So we can hopefully start 2021 on a brighter note. One of the few places you are allowed to watch the fireworks tonight is on the water. Usually this time of year there would be thousands and thousands of boats queuing up. Tonight, by my count, there are just a few hundred. These are live pictures right now of Sydney Harbour. Many of the operators we spoke to today telling us they simply couldn't sell enough tickets. The good news in the past half an hour, that weather has finally cleared ahead of tonight's show. Michael. All right, Cam Price there on the harbour. Thank you for that. Let's go to Serena and Aloro, who's in Chipping Norton. Uh, Serena, good evening. It seems most Sydney siders are following the pleas to stay at home rather than filling the parks and the beaches. Yeah, Michael, good evening to you. I am here at Chipping Norton Lake, a favourite for families across Liverpool. The fireworks spectacular, famous in our west. Usually it would be packed with thousands. Tonight, just a few. And it's a similar story right across our suburbs. Celebrations small and mostly at home. Staying home and off the streets, our way of fighting for a fresh start in 2021. Happy New Year! The party's small, but New Year's Eve 2020 at Chris and Linda's will sparkle like no other. Getting rid of uh, 2020 with a bang, and what better bang than with a rock? <laughs> <laughs> They're getting married, a happy ending to a tough year. <laughs> Fireworks cancelled across our suburbs, except in Liverpool, where preparations are underway at six secret spots for a high display designed to be watched through windows at home. It's a fairly spectacular, sparkly show. All they've got to do is stay put and look up. Normally, Parramatta Park looks like this. But today, almost completely empty of cheer and of gatherings, except for this cricket-loving group. In lockdown central Avalon, clouds hovered, resembling the mood of many for 2020. But for Michelle Ring and Sam Bateson, after 14 days in isolation, at least it meant a change of scenery. So there's been seven of us locked down in one house 
and today's our first day out. Just about sent me crazy, I think. It's really quiet. You know, there's normally it would be packed. Like so many others, preparing for a much quieter New Year's Eve. At home, in my bedroom, that's it. Not many in Manly normally cheek to jowl with revellers, some taking the opportunity for some last minute exercise. And usually the backpackers and party goers fill the sands of Bondi Beach. This year, still some swimmers, but a shadow of its usual self. All along the beaches, once packed places, now near empty spaces, with police on the prowl, showing that this year going out is out and staying in is in. Serena Andaloro. Seven News.